Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to do a tutorial on how to create a digital planner that also integrates with Google Calendar. So I've been seeing a lot of these um, digital planners around where you can set um, reminders on your Google Calendar and in a way it kind of syncs to your Google Calendar and I was just really curious how that happens so I did some research and realized there is an easy way to do it so you actually either you're looking to add this onto your existing planner or um, creating a digital planner that has this feature um, it's pretty straightforward so let me show you how it's done um, so from this video it shows that when you click it um, it will open there's a link on the date and it will open up Google um, calendars and you can um, create your appointment on Google Calendar. So this is what we're trying to do and um, I'll show you how. The first thing you need to do is go to go and search on Google um, Google Calendar link generator. So now that we're here it's giving me a few links you can look through it there's a simple one like this just for Google Calendar or there's more um, sophisticated ones like this one where um, it you can actually create links for Google, Outlook, Yahoo, AOL, and Office 365. So um, I'm going to go with this right now and show you how you can create a link to link to Google Calendar from your digital planner. So what it actually is, is when you click on it, it'll just pull up Google Calendar without you switching out of the app. So um, what you need to do is just leave these empty because those are the things that you're going to add later. And say if you are selling a digital planner or making a digital planner, you don't want to add anything here because you want the other person to customize it. Um, for the time zone, I'm not really sure what to do here, to be honest. Um, I, I'm just going to keep it to my personal time zone for now. Um, and uh, let's make an example where we are doing an all-day event. So you would check this off um, and pick the date on your calendar that you want the link to be for. So let's say today is the 16th. I'll just leave it as the 16th. Um, you don't need to put any description and then all you need to do is copy the link and say if you didn't want to do an all day event and you want to make a link specifically for the day and also the time um, of your uh, like agenda or um, like a daily timeline then you can also add the date or the time here so then um, you get the time the, the specific time and you can generate it for maybe like every 30 minute intervals but for simplicity's sake we're just gonna do an all-day event and so this is the um, this is the date and we're just gonna copy this and I'm going to go into my good notes right now um, and this is this pretend um, this is already made planner but you can add it to your already made planner your existing planner or um, embed it into a new planner you're making so it'll be the same but I'm just going to use this as an example you can just add some text here and then um, link it um, I'll do it again so that you can see how that works. You can right click on your text and go link or you know long hold on your, um, your iPad and then just paste the link that you got from the site and then it should save and then all you need to do to test it 
is to click on it and it says open link. Yes, open, go to external site and it will bring you to your Google Calendar for June 16th and then you can customize it with the, the title of your appointment. So it is pretty simple um, way to customize your existing planner or um, add it to your a planner that you're making. It is a very tedious task if you're adding it to the planner that you're making, but um, it is very convenient to not have to navigate between apps and you can just click a link and it'll open up for you. So I will include all the links that I've used in the description below if you are interested. And for the digital planner that you saw earlier, I can also include that link below. It's a free planner that you can download and test out digital planning if that is something that you're looking for. So um, thanks for watching and I will be back next time. See ya!